Pains of aging Cincinnati neighborhoods is causing a flashpoint in West Price Hill. Our David Winner is here now with the story of some businesses that are being displaced to make way for a restaurant and also a brewery. Right, David? That's right, Kyle. Some call it revitalization. Others call it gentrification. Either way, when agencies try to improve neighborhoods, there are often businesses that are not part of those plans that feel like they are getting pushed out. I got generations of families that have been coming here. You know, now that the, the, the adults are older, their kids are coming. And then their kids having kids that are coming. Maurice Black has been cutting hair on Glenway Avenue for 22 years. A letter he received recently saying he would need to be out of his building by July was not well received. But now that they're taking my business, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, because I don't know how I'm going to provide for my family. The letter is from Price Hill Will, a nonprofit aimed at the civic, social, and economic development of East, West, and Lower Price Hill. We spoke with the director who said the revitalization of the buildings has been in the works for five years and they are doing everything they can to move Maurice and the Los Tres Amigos grocery next door into new locations. All my customers you know, is around this area and there is no place you know, with the, with the uh, parking lot. But the owner of the grocery store says the places he's been shown are substandard and the $40,000 he's been offered to move won't cover the lost business, the move, and the tenant improvements he will need. That's how I support my family with this business, you know. And the, if I don't have a place to go, I'm moving, you know, to another place. I mean, I'd be lost my business. You know? Cincinnati's vice mayor stepped out of today's Equitable Growth and Housing Committee meeting to speak with us about the project. We don't want gentrification. Um, you know, we don't want people displaced. You know, we want people to thrive in their own neighborhood. So when development happens, the people who live there have a chance to actually benefit from it. Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney says there is other money available so that Jose and Maurice will not be left out in the cold. Brian Gary from Neighborhoods United says he wants to make sure that other money should be proportionate to what the new businesses are getting to move in. Okay, development occurs. Just take care of the little people. Take care of the people that the steamroller is rolling over. The West Price Hill Community Council made sure that there would be no steamroller. We're told the businesses taking over that block on Glenway across from Elder High School are going to be a restaurant and a brewery and they will use the existing buildings. There is no word when they will be complete. Kyle? All right, David, thank you so much. We should note here, the city of Cincinnati appropriated $2 million plus another $2 million loan towards the $4 million restaurant and brew pub project. Proponents say they are afraid if it gets delayed much longer, they may lose that funding.